yeah hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today in this video I'll be demonstrating a use case using power automate Cloudflow, and you can see the use case description over here in the notepad so use case is very simple like we have to develop a power automate cloud flow which can summarize the excel document and it should write it output to some file like text file or pdf file like that okay so that is our use case okay but here i won't uh, when i'm developing the use case i won't be writing the data to the text file or the pdf file i'll be just showing how you can summarize an excel document okay and here you may need to use some ai actions from the ai hub like uh, i could say about using chat this gpt actions which can based on which which actually generate the text based on the prompt we provide okay so that is what we are going to use here and uh, so let me start with uh, the flow how you can design it so here uh, if you have seen this one right so this is our power automate portal and here you can see the ai hub under ai hub you can see ai prompts where we can uh, select the system default prompts which are already created or you can create your own custom prompt okay so here uh, so my requirement is something like uh, you see I have an excel table like this okay so this table is something like uh, having the payroll details of the employee like its employee ID employee name as well as uh, how many salaries they are being uh, provided per month and whether uh, they have been provided for salaries for March or not it's just an imaginary data so you can uh, you don't have to consider the values of the columns right now so you can see this is a excel table okay so what i want is i want my flow to uh, cap to collect the data from this excel and then uh, summarize the data okay just summarize the data and uh, summarize the data that is what we need through power automate for summarizing this data we need the help of ai actions particularly the GPT actions which is present in our AI hub so first uh, which actually means we have to create a prompt which can actually summarize this data and which uh, can provide a generated text as the output so that is what we are trying to do here so the first step of this particular uh, use case would be to create a custom prompt in this uh, power automate AI hub which can uh, summarize the Excel data based on the uh, prompt whatever details are provided in the prompt okay so uh, but the thing is see uh, how we can pass this excel data directly to the prompt right the prompt only accept text values right maybe you have to copy paste it and all but um, what my thought is if we can convert this excel table data into an html table okay using power automate and pass that pass that html table as an input to the prompt i think that would work for our scenarios so I have tried it and it is working fine okay but I will show you how to do that okay so first let me first head over to AI hub where we can see how we can create a custom prompt which can summarize the data okay so let me head over to AI hub which I have shown earlier so first you have to go to AI hub and then mm, it will take some time to load let's wait yeah now you can see three options so you can select AI prompts so in the AI prompts you can see different options right uh, using a prompt you, you can create a custom prompt using input you want see similarly there are some template this is a custom prompt you can write whatever uh, prompt data prompt you want but here these are some templates so these are uh, these there are uh, so there is already some a text being designed in this particular prompt and you can customize it based on your need you can see summarizing text like we we may want to summarize the content which we are passing to the prompt as an input so there we will be using summarize text for extracting information from text we'll be using this uh, template we can use this template if we want similarly for other we can find different different uh, prompts for our uh, for the rec different requirements if in if any of these requirement does not satisfy our use case we can create our own custom prompt using this option okay but here our requirement is to summarize the text so already a template is there so I can utilize that so just you have to click on summarize text and you can see you have to already a prompt is being returned and you can see this dynamic content right this text this text is the one which will be passing as an input to what 
input to input to this particular prompt maybe from the power automate flow i would say okay so how you can create this input text so for that what you have to do is you have to just uh, maybe i'll show you maybe let's say i want to summarize some text so i'll be passing please summarize the given so i will be passing my dynamic content over here for that i will be just putting my cursor over here and then click on add dynamic value and i will be giving you the name of the input as text okay i will press enter you can see this dynamic content will appear here so whenever you select this particular prompt through power automate you will see this option will also appear as a mandatory field which the bot has to fill okay which we have to fill okay and uh, this is how uh, you have to create a prompt so you can see there already some text is entered so you can customize the text based on our requirement like let's say i want to summarize the given html table and i need this following you can add some specific information if you want okay and then after doing everything you can click on you can save the name something like uh, custom prompt some name and all you can select okay for a uh, document uh, summarizer and then you can click on save custom prompt to save that particular custom prompt in your ai hub you can do that but uh, already for my uh, purpose i already created a custom prompt okay so i will show you see this is the custom prompt which i have created excel document summarizer prompt and you can see i have provided a very simple prompt here i have used the same template which i have shown earlier like please summarize the data present in the html table provided the provided below in column wise if numerical column provide the summary in terms of mean and median it just uh, for information so and see here the dynamic content is text and this dynamic to this dynamic content we will be passing the html table right so i already have saved this uh, uh, this prompt but i can save it again okay so at below you can see that ai content generated may may be incorrect make sure it's accurate and appropriate before using it okay so that is some kind of uh, a warning which we have to follow okay in the real time use case and all we have to follow that okay because the data may be which may be generated using this maybe there is some wrong information also you have to take care of that okay so uh, in that part i am uh, okay so now let me head over to the flow okay so already i have created a flow for this pur particular purpose with a name like document summarizer board so i have created a manually trigger flow option because this is for my demo flow purpose so but when you are designing your flow for your own use case you can use different types of trigger as per your requirement like uh, based on some events like when a file is created uh so you can uh, use it as per your requirement so now uh after that we'll be using list rows present in table action to list all the rows present in that particular table you see this is our table from which we want to get all the rows so that uh, we have provided the path of that particular table and we have also selected a table name also you have to remember one thing if you want to summarize a excel file using power automate you have power automate cloud flow specifically you have to convert this excel data you should ha you should ensure that your data is enclosed within it excel table because power automate cloud flow only works with what uh, excel table okay not with the sheet data and now i have created a table for this that is table 1 and this has been selected as a drop down and next based out of this particular uh, list rows present in table i'll be creating what i'll be creating a html table with all the required information like employee id employee name per month salary in indian rupees salary given for march 2024 right so i will providing the uh, dynamic content over here you, as you see so specifically uh, for these particular column values because create list row present in table may contain some two other column as an extra right so to specifically select those i have used uh, this option right okay i have selected the columns as custom and then i have specifically provide the columns which i need and once i did this one next what i will be using is i'll be using create text with gpt using a prompt this is a action which is present under ai builder okay so if you go i will just show you how you can select this one if you go to ai builder now you will find this action under here i'm right sorry yeah you can select this action from here okay so i already have selected this action so i don't want to select it again now you can see here now here you have to first select the prompt okay so maybe uh, for better understanding i will be showing you 
again so maybe yep mm, okay so I will be selecting this one and now I have to first select the prompt so you can see that there are some other prompts also which we haven't seen here right so if you click on uh, all prompts you can find that there are some system default prompts are also also the so this is our custom prompt okay which we have created apart from that you can also use this as well okay and but uh, so that is why these options are coming here so I'll be selecting Excel document summarizer prompt and now my next step would be to pass the input text okay so input text would be create HTML output table and if you part want to pass some additional context you can pass it here but I'm keeping it as empty now the output now we have want to get the text that is generated out of this create text with GPT so you can see that this create text with GPT using prompt has following output text finish reason prediction output response to and body so here text is the required dynamic content which because it contains a generated text so we'll click here okay so I save it I test it again so so you can see a warning because you see create text with GPT using uh, prompt see this action doesn't have a content approval action before it so this is a kind of warning why they are adding this warning is because if you see at the bottom right uh, if you have seen at the bottom this AI generated content may be incorrect so uh, to validate it before we are doing something else based on that particular data that is why uh, they are saying if you want a kind of approval you can add it if not it's fine so that is what uh, this uh, this actually mean so but we don't for our demo for we don't need it but if you are using it for production and all you can try it if you want okay so now I will just close this one and I will test it so let's see click on done now you'll see that our flow is running yep you can see the flow ran successfully and you can see that the create HTML table output sorry input we have passed into this input text and you can see that it give me a summary right here is a summary of data provided in the HTML table column employee ID mean median column employee name node summary data available for text data so per month salary mean median you see why it has provided like this like uh, because if you see my prompt that's why I was saying it depends upon the how you are providing the prompt so here I have provided the prompt something like this so what it may have think is okay I should provide the result for the numerical columns only maybe if I just change the prompt something like this okay if I click on custom prompt mm, that is why how you are providing prompt is also important okay if you provide something uh, not a perfect prompt it wouldn't it won't give you a perfect result perfect accuracy result that you are nearly expecting so now I will just test it again I hope this time it may show some better results yep I think it has shown the result you see here is the summary of data present in the table HTML table you have provided column wise you see okay it provided me all the values for that right so maybe <laughs> you can uh, customize your prompt as per your requirement uh, how you need it and all so this is all I uh, what I want to show here like how you can summarize a excel table or excel data using this GPT action power automate because why I'm specifically saying excel table is because uh, unlike this text files and word file where you can directly get the text and you can directly pass it here but how you can do the same with uh, excel table also because if you are trying with chat GPT so what you do or copilot what you do you copy paste this particular excel data and then you try to paste it there and it will try to give the same answer maybe you can try that as well but the problem is sometimes uh, if you can try with power automate what happens is it may take little more time because you have to use some other actions right append to string variable you have to convert you have to convert it exactly like a table which may take more time 
but if you use create HTML action it will be more simpler right uh, if you see the flow design it will be more simpler if you are trying to do that approach like if you are trying to do a copy paste approach you have to put a space like you have to use a loop concept uh, for every row add this value then add a space then add this value add a space add this value like that so which is maybe quite complicated also right so instead of doing that if you use this create HTML table it solve all our queries so that is all I what I want to discuss through this one so hope you like this video if you like this video kindly share and subscribe my uh, YouTube channel so thank you all